Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video here showing how to change the output configuration on one of these Extron VSC products. And this this specific one that I have is a VSC 700 and actually is a D model. Um, doesn't say D there, but yeah, anyway, it's basically the same as the 700 and uh, pretty much the same as the 500 too. So yeah, this should work for any of them, even like the 900 or um, I would assume some of the other ones as well, but this will definitely work for the 500 and the 700 series. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, you can see right now I have just the regular component cables coming out of the back here. And I do have uh, BNC to RCA adapters. Um, but yeah, I just have the red, green, and the blue coming out here. And then you can see on the CRT to the side here. And see the colors are displayed correctly, although it's not displayed correctly on my camera just because, uh, yeah, filming CRTs is tricky. <laughs> but yeah, you can see the colors are displayed here correctly. However, if this were a you know a professional monitor like a PVM or a BVM or you know something that takes a RGB input, uh, you can actually go in here and change the output signal type. So, for example, you click Menu. And then you want to um, click menu again, and then you see it says output configuration, then you want to click next. You can see right now it's on component. And so then you want to use this one to change the output configuration. So I'm going to push it to the left, now it's on RGSB, so sync on green. And you can see now the colors are washed out, and then you can see how to change it again. Oh, I didn't... I waited too long. If you wait too long, that times out. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> yeah, let's go back in now. Can, whoops, I keep clicking the wrong things. Yes, yeah, so and menu. Then menu again, output, output configuration next. Now you can see I'm going to change it again. Now it's going crazy. So this is um, RGBS. So this is the kind of sync that the, like a Super Nintendo or Nintendo 64 but where it just has a sync going out on one cable and then you can see if I change it here again of course it reset again then you can also do a RGB HV where it has this is like a VGA output and this will um, output the sync over two cables um, for vertical and horizontal sync and yeah you can see the TV doesn't like that either so Anyway, you just have to set it to what your TV is expecting or your monitor. So, yeah, again, for this one, I'm going to set it back to components. So you can see I'll just cycle through these. There's RGBS. And then there's RGSB, or sync on green. And then we'll go back to component. You can see everything looks great. So, yeah, that's how you change the output. And then if you are using one of the other syncs, um, let me show you the back here real quick. Okay, there we go. I just turned around the Extron. Uh, so yeah, so you can see up here I was using just the component cables, and I unplugged them right now, but yeah, just the red, green, and the blue for the component. Um, if you are using RGB out, though, then they obviously just plug in the same places, RG and B. Um, but then you also have to worry about this sync stuff down here. So yeah, so you can see this first one is either horizontal or horizontal and vertical in CH or HV. So yeah, so horizontal will be if you're using like a VGA, if you're going into like a VGA monitor or something like that, or something that accepts a VGA signal. Uh, however, I think most people will probably be using this to go, if you're going into like a um, PVM or whatever, then you'll just want to use this connection and yeah, just one cable, and that will handle your horizontal and your vertical sync. And then you just want to make sure that your uh, setting on the front is set to uh, RGBS. And, yeah, not RGBHV. Um, but, yeah, if you are doing RGBHV, though, like a VGA signal, then you want to do one of your sync cables going into here, and then the other one going out of this one. Yeah, and you can see this one here is just labeled V for vertical sync. And yeah, and then here's composite video. And then this one, since it's a D model, has SDI, which I never use, so kind of useless for me anyway. And then you got S video as well. But anyway, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps out. Talk to you later. Bye.